What's up traders? This is V Trades and today I'll be doing a technical analysis breakdown for Alibaba with the ticker symbol BABA. -A. Remember that if you want a chart analysis guaranteed to be done, please read the description below. Before we begin, please take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate all those who have already subscribed and liked my videos. Just a reminder that this video is for entertainment purposes only, does not constitute any financial advice. I will first go over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. So in my last video that I did last week, which was back in December 31st last year, I was expecting a measured move up, but if we did not get it, we would continue lower. However, we did get it. You can see that this was the first leg up for the price. And then this was a correction all the way back down. And then this was the second leg up. You can see that we pretty much met the measured move. It was at the 130 level, 131 level, and we hit it today. It looks like Baba was pretty strong um, going into Friday, however, a close kind of week. So maybe it looks like it wants to pull back. You can see that we are above the EMA now, but I don't know if that's going to hold before we got above the EMA, but we cannot hold it. So at least maybe we can um, pull back to it and then find some type of support before continuing higher. You can see that there is some prior resistance at this level right here. Looks like the one at the 126. You can see at the 126, the market, or a little bit lower possibly, maybe at the 123 level, you can see that there's a prior resistance and then prices finally broke through it. So it looks like maybe prices wanna come back to fill in this gap that it created. And then from there, it can do either two things we can um well we can do three things we can go sideways up or down but let's just think at probabilities um i'm i'm more bullish than bearish just because we are due for a major correction so i'm leaning towards the more bullish case which is we just pull back at the 123 level and then just continue higher from there the bearish case is that we just had a break outside of this range and it could be a fail breakout just to trap all the longs and then we might just dump continuing to make a new low at the 108 level for this downtrend so that's the bearish case however i'm more bullish than bearish i'm probably 60 to 65 percent bearish and 30 or 40 to 35 percent bearish but you never know in this market you can't be 100 percent sure but i think there's a more there's a stronger bullish case than a bearish case just because if I zoom in on the chart, show you guys the major pattern and why I think we're due for a major pullback. You can see that this is the major pattern working lower, the downtrend. And you can see that Alibaba is respecting the trend line, the resistance trend line, the support trend line, and the midline. You can see that we got a couple bounces from the support side and we got a nice push up from it, this leg right here. So there's a possibility that we might get a pullback and then another leg up. So especially since if we're on this side of the channel, like we did here and here, we normally get a bigger push as you can see previously. So I'm expecting a bigger push up. I don't think we'll probably continue lower uh, is, a, is a possibility. Yes, but it's more likely that they want to pull back the market more. So that's everything on the daily chart. Let's go and wrap this up on the weekly chart. So here's the weekly chart for Alibaba and you can see that we are right at the breakout level that Alibaba did back here in 2017 and it came back to retest that level because there's a lot of buy orders there and there's people who are getting stopped out. You can see that when we come to a level after a big move and we start consolidating like we are now, this could lead to a reversal. Um, you could see that the sellers are having a hard time breaking through this level and eventually they might give up and the buyers might just take over the market you can see that we are at a crucial level in the market is building some type of support however we are consol consolidating so it's not really showing a lot of bullish action either you can see that i showed you guys this sideways action that we might continue in for the next couple of weeks or even up to a month you can see that we pretty much hit the highs of this sideways action that we're inside of and got rejected which was at the 133 level Prices sold off just a little bit and now we closed pretty much in the upper half of this range. But like I said before, if we don't start continuing higher next week and 
after we probably pull back i think we're gonna get a pullback i don't there's a possibility that might we might just continue trend higher but i think it's more likely that we'll pull back and more likely that we'll find some type of support and continue trend higher it's less likely we'll just continue trend higher right away and less likely that we'll just drop down so i'm just gonna go with the odds and it's more likely we'll see a small little pullback and then probably a push up but if we don't get that then we probably can continue lower all the way back down to the lows but then from there we got to see if we find some type of support or not because then that'll be a triple bottom you can see currently we have a double bottom play the market went down and then a little bit up and then went down again and then went up so this is a double bottom reversal pattern you usually see these in downtrends so that's a double bottom so if we come back again that's a triple bottom so that's even stronger and we'll have to see if we get some type of support so as right now i'm not gonna get ahead of myself the chart looks good but not great and we're finally seeing some bullish action after a long waiting period of like a couple of months so we'll see how far baba wants to take this up but as right now it's looking good but not great uh give you guys an update next friday thank you for stopping by and checking out my video make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised at what you can learn leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed also share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver great content to you guys. See you next time and bye.